Welcome to All About America. I'm Rob Poirier. We're at the La Rochelle Boat Show, and this is the introduction as a new OVNI 430, and we're gonna take a nice tour this afternoon. The first thing that people notice about the new generation of OVNI is the unique hull form. The forward third of the hull has been changed to give the boat better offshore performance. But the other benefit is we have more capacity for things like anchor, locker, storage, and even the master cabin. The anti-fragile nature of an Alabat makes it perfect for people with more adventurous plans. So right away, we need to set up the boat with a proper sail plan. And you can see right away that ready to deploy at any time is both a stay sail and a solent. But of course, we also mount anything from a code zero to a code D or even a spinnaker on the bowsprit. And pay close attention, you know the bowsprit is fully integrated into the construction of the boat, but it also allows you to have two anchors ready to be deployed. The first place you'll notice that increased volume here at the bow of the boat is of course right in the anchor locker. Right next door of course is a sail locker that is actually so deep and big that it actually requires a ladder. One of the other benefits of this new hull design of course is right here on this nice flat deck, as you can see, the advantage is obvious for recreation and especially for changing sails. Just so much space up here, it's amazing. So apart from the different hull shape, one of the first things that catches people's attention about that new generation OVNI, and this is true on the 370 as well as the 430, is this race coach roof and the windowscape it provides. The benefits are so obvious inside, but it's also pretty nice outside here because just in terms of, of places to sit on the boat, it really increases just, just the livability of this area. You know, one of the beauties of an aluminum constructed vessel like this is that items such as the bowsprit, the cleats are welded and bolted in place. Your, your handholds are built in and welded into the structure, as is the arch. Again, for integrity, it's simply the best possible solution to this kind of building in the world. I'm always talking about how I think my favorite feature on this boat is this hard dodger. It just makes sailing offshore in all kinds of weather conditions that much nicer. But some of the other benefits, of course, is it gives you a great place to land additional solar panels. The other thing I like to point out is the unique main sheet arrangement on this boat. So you've got basically two independent main sheets which act for much of the time as preventers. So again, with all the lines leading into the cockpit, it provides you a location right here to sit out of weather if necessary. Another feature about the hard dodger that I really like is that of course it provides the perfect attachment point to extend sun protection to the arch, but it also gives you really good access to the, to, to the sail and the boom. Standing here at one of the helm stations on the 430, the boat really inspires a lot of confidence from whether it be handholds, the hard dodger itself, or the arch, everything is integrated into the construction of the boat. It's not a, it's not a case of a bunch of pieces that have been bolted and screwed on. It really, really gives you a lot of faith in the vessel. As you can see, this is a great location for a life raft and also a lot of additional storage here right on the transom. These lockers here on the transom are also accessible from inside the cockpit. Not only do I love the technical room in these boats, but I love that you have direct access here from the cockpit right into them. As you can see by the position here under this hard dodger, the boat has been very well considered for sailing in heavy weather. Um, not only do I have full weather protection from rain and cold, but it's also been designed so that I can open and let ventilation into this area. And this, this weather uh, curtain basically can also integrate a screen so that it's also bug protection that does that means I don't need to always have my companionway closed. Never forget when you're aboard an Alubat Omni class vessel that the boat has a superpower and that is it is a centerboard construction meaning that when you retract that centerboard you can bring the boat right up on a beach comfortably. Right here under the bench there is full access to that centerboard, the full block and tackle system for any future servicing. We're going to start the interior tour of this 430 where it belongs and that's right here in the salon. And the main selling feature of this boat of course is the brightness, the windowscape that we're enjoying here. It's really important to start off the tour by reminding everybody that this is the traditional arrangement that the salon and the 430 can be had this way, or this entire seating area can be raised, similar to the nav station is. 
so that when even when you're sitting, you're sitting with an eye, a line of sight directly outside. One of the things that the owners have told me they've really appreciated about the boat is the fact that on previous vessels at anchor, they're always having to step into the cockpit to look around for a sense of security. Whereas from here, standing in the salon, you can always keep an eye on what's going on. We were just talking about the possibility of having the entire salon raised for visibility outside, but you can see exactly what I mean at the nav station. From here, I've got perfect forward visibility and side views, so it's a very practical forward-facing nav. And of course, here's also the control center of the boat. So I've got all my breakers and communication equipment and you know, additional chart plotters all located in one space here. So for heavy weather, uh, whether you're at anchor or even navigating in heavy weather, it's a perfect situation. Showing a boat such as this one that's been lived aboard full time now for a few weeks is a great way to show off storage capacity. So let's talk about that a little bit because remember, we're aboard a 100% aluminum boat and all of the cabinetry and all the furniture aboard had to come through the companionway. A boat builder like Alabat is never gonna use a method that the production fiberglass boat builders do, which is to place large fiberglass liners, each representing a different area in the boat. That methodology really speeds up the building of a boat, but it eats away at valuable storage capacity. And it actually creates voids between the hull and the in, in inside surfaces of the boat. Because everything here is purpose built, we don't hide or squander any of that additional storage, which results in this liveaboard boat that just, again, offers so much more storage. On a 43 foot boat, I don't think you can improve on the galley that we have aboard. I mean, it has all the things that matter. Lots of storage, a lot of counter space, Again, it's nice and bright, so it's a nice place to work. And of course, direct access to the salon table. Uh, the ability, again, to look forward and, and keep watch from this galley while you're preparing a meal just makes it that much better. This particular 430 is a two cabin version. Of course, with the master suite here in the bow, we have a nice aft cabin as a guest cabin. But as a third bunk, we also have a, a, a single bunk in the technical room. And naturally, if necessary, we can always lower the salon table to make some additional accommodation. I'm right now sitting in the aft technical room on the boat. To access this room, there's a nice large doorway right through the bathroom. And as you can see, this gives me perfect access to items like generators, engines. There's an extra freezer in this boat. Um, to, my, to the outboard side, you'll see I have a lee cloth here and another berth, but of course this can all be converted into pure storage, which I really like. We even have a washer dryer located here just on this forward bulkhead. The fact that all your electronics are positioned in such a way that they're easy to service really makes the full-time liveaboard experience on this boat that much nicer. You'll also see right behind me that there's a re removable panel that would give me full access to all my steering gear. Again, so the reality of living on a boat and long distance passage making is servicing that vessel. And they've gone out of their way to design a boat that really makes that easy. One of the other design features I really like about the technical room is that there's a full size hatch directly overhead that leads into the cockpit. So you can imagine the benefits of uh, moving dirty items or large items in and out of the boat via this route versus the companionway. Well, thank you for joining us today. We look forward to speaking to you again real soon. Thank you.